Hey guys, it's Steve Frame. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Auto Trace facility in SQL Plus. Auto Trace is a way that you can spy on the low level operations the database performs when it's trying to satisfy one of your queries. When you issue a query or a command in the database, it's, it's a pretty high level thing in SQL. You're basically telling the database what you want done, but you're not really specifying how to do it. For example, if you were to issue a select query, that joined two tables, but also filtered the records in those tables using WHERE clauses. There are a couple of ways you could go about actually satisfying that query. You could, and when I say you, I mean the database could, it could join the two tables together and then apply the WHERE clause criteria to filter the rows on that joined result set, or it could filter the rows from the initial base tables and then join only those filtered rows together. It's a simple example, but it's the sort of thing that's not specified in your SQL statement, and it's the kind of decision the database actually has to make. When it figures out how it's going to satisfy one of your queries, it tries to determine what the least expensive way to do that will be. And by least expensive, I mean most performant, requiring the least effort on the part of the database. The part of the database that takes your query and translates it into a set of physical operations, hopefully that aren't too difficult or expensive for the database to perform, is called the optimizer. And auto trace is a, an option you can set in SQL Plus that allows you to see what the optimizer is doing at a low level, what particular physical operations it has elected to perform in order to satisfy your query. In this demonstration, we're going to basically spy on the optimizer view auto, through auto trace and see what it's doing for some simple queries. I'm in SQL Plus. I'm going to set the auto trace option on. Done. I'm going to create an object to play around with. As you can see, I'm calling it Objecto Detecto. I'm going to throw it in the users table space, and it's just going to be a copy of the all objects view. I don't really care what's in this. I'm just trying to grab something that's going to give me a good sizable chunk of data to work with for performance tuning purposes. And uh, this all objects view is probably a good candidate. Run this, and my table is created. And it contains all that content from the all objects view. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, start up or shut down and restart the instance because I have a bunch of blocks from that all objects table floating around in memory. I want to make sure that they are not impacting anything that happens when I, I try to assess the performance of the system in a moment. So I'm going to stop and restart the database. Okay. Uh, I'm now logged in as SysDBA. I restarted the database, but I'm, I, well, I was logged in as System when I created this table. So I'm just going to uh, disconnect, and I'm going to log back in as System. Now I'm connected. So what I'm going to do, make sure auto trace is still on. I believe it's already enabled, but just going to give that a whirl. I am going to select star from objecto detecto, where we have a certain object name. The name doesn't really matter that much. I happen to know that in the HR schema in Oracle XE, there is a table called employees. So I'm going to look for that. But again, mainly this is just an excuse to select something from the database. Okay, very interesting. So, see, what happens here is I get my information about the employees uh, object. What also happens is I get this thing below called an execution plan. And again, these are the low-level physical operations that are being performed by the optimizer. We won't run through these in, in great detail. Uh, there's, there's many different things you could potentially see under here. But the point is, by looking at these, seeing what the optimizer is choosing to do, I can tell 
you know, if there are potentially areas in which I might be able to tune things, if the database is not performing operations as efficiently as I might expect, this gives me a window into that activity and then I can look to see, you know, if there is an inefficient operation in here, how I might be able to tune that. And what you see here, table access full, this, um, the operations have this kind of nested portrayal inside of Autotrace and graphical utilities will kind of do it a little bit better or a little bit nicer looking than the command line utilities, but you see I'm trying to do this select statement and an operation under here is a table access full. This is the thing you want to avoid, a so-called full table scan. Basically, to satisfy my query, Oracle had to look through every single row in the Objecto Detecto table that's a table access full. And that takes a little bit of a while. Um, what we would rather see is that Oracle gets to its data via more efficient means if possible. So for example, Oracle it would be nice if it used an index for this query. An index in a database is much like an index in a book. We have a value we're looking for, such as the object name of employees. We look it up in the index, and there in the index, as opposed to a page number as you might find in a book, Oracle in its index would specify a block number, a specific place you could go to to grab uh, the object that had the name employees, and you know, it might potentially have many objects which could correspond to many blocks, but the basic idea is I take a logical value like employees, the name of an object, and I use it to look up the physical location. Then when Oracle goes to read things from disk, it doesn't have to read the entire table, which would be a table access full here or a full table scan. It can just read those specific blocks that correspond to, uh, you know, the location of the row that has employees in the name of the object. So why don't we see how we can make Oracle go ahead and do that. Here's how we would create an index. I'm going to go create an index. I gave the name IDX underscore OD underscore object name, you guys can read obviously, on the table objective detecto and the column object name. My index is now created. I'm going to bounce the instance once again just to make sure there are no caching effects in memory. Now I've restarted the database, I'm connected as system again, and I'm going to run that same query. Set auto trace on. So now you'll notice here, after I created my index, the access plan changed. Rather than doing a full table scan, I'm scanning my index, checking it out, uh, looking for that employee's value, and this is obviously the name of the index I just created a little bit ago, so that I can do a table access by index row ID. I got a row ID, basically a physical pointer to a specific block within a specific, or it could be multiple blocks, but to specific blocks within a specific file in the database, that's more or less what the row ID construction tells us. I get that row ID out of the index, and then I'm able to jump right to the associated blocks. So for this, it's a fairly small table. We're not really going to see much of a performance difference um, in a query like this, but what I more wanted to show you today was the context of Autotrace and how we can use it to see what low-level operations of the database is performing, something like a full table scan that we saw named as table access full before, is the kind of thing you typically want to avoid if possible. Sometimes the logic of the query requires it. Um, but that's the kind of operations you'd like to avoid. And using Autotrace lets you see hmm, when full table scans 
and other expensive operations are happening and gives you some hint that you might want to do something like create an index as we did here to avoid those operations. There's quite a lot you can do with AutoTrace. There are quite a number of operations that would show up here in addition to index range scan and table access full if this query did joins and such. Uh, the optimizer or the auto trace facility would kind of give you some understanding of how those joins were occurring and what algorithms Oracle was using to create those. But for now, we're just trying to do a simple introduction to auto trace and see that it allows us to spy on the behavior of optimizer, the optimizer, and look for troublesome performance behaviors like full table scans. Thanks very much, guys.